Hi, greetings, everybody. Thank you. My name is Nana Yayabua, host of the Nana Yayabua Show. Um, yesterday, February 17th, was my birthday, and I would like to say a very big thank you for the beautiful messages that I received for the gifts from my colleagues and, in general, people that I thought we haven't had um, conversations in a long time reached out and it was um, heartwarming. Heartwarming in the sense that sometimes we tend to think is that we're working in this world alone and nobody really sees or nobody cares about us. But more often than not, that is not the case. So as much as this video is a thank you video, it is also a video about self worth. Self-worth. Self-worth is the foundation of self-esteem. So even before I talk about self-esteem, which will be in another context, in another video, today I'm going to talk about self-worth. Why do I think I am worthy of people's love, attention, why do you think you are pe you are worthy of people's love, attention, kindness? It all begins with us, the individuals. So I'm going to look at three aspects of self-worth and then break it down and then we'll finalize this video. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Self-worth. The first instance to get through this process of self-worth is number one. Let's all give ourselves a break. What do I mean to give ourselves or give yourself a break? Give us yourself a break means stop being so hard on yourself. If you're a perfectionist like me, stop being so hard on you, on yourself. Not all of us can attain sense in perfection, but most definitely we can work on them. We often beat ourselves to a pulp and then denigrate ourselves so that when somebody else comes, we've already spoken ill about who we are. They don't see the value of us. So give yourself a break. Be who you are and walk in this world as who you need to be. So number one, give yourself a break. If you study and you cannot be an engineer, give yourself a break because that is not what perhaps is meant for you. Something else is what you need to do. The second instance that I find most important is to give yourself a break. Um, aside from giving yourself a break, is the kind of people around you. Support yourself with positive-minded people. We already know that relationships are difficult, they are hard. We all, as human beings, come from different walks of life in the sense that some are born rich, some are born poor, some are, some are well-educated more than others. And when it comes to humanity, we are coming from different cultural backgrounds, different countries in that. So that also affects our experiences, be it that you are an Asian Canadian, you are black Canadian like myself, you are um, American Canadian, whatever that means, you are Indian Canadian, we need to build positive relationships around us. And this is what I have found that the positive relationships that you build around you need not be just within the people that look like you. They can spread out to different people, different religions, because you learn from them different ways of positivity, different ways of um, tuning in 
being in tune with who you are. So surround yourself with people who see your true potential, who are positive, even when you are going wrong, can assist in redirecting you to the path you need to be. People who see your true value and um, your worth and acknowledge it as such and are there for you. Those are the positive individuals that I am talking about. In life, you'll get some, you may not get some. And sometimes you need to find, you need to open up, you need to cast your net wide open to find the one or two people who espouse this positive, um, positiveness to you. So, Surround yourself with positive people. Now, as much as you build in positive relationships and surrounding yourself with positive people, remember that is impossible if you do not recognize the positive in you. So that is the third aspect. Recognize the positive in you. What makes you a person that people should come to, that should people should align to? Are you respectful? Are you dignified? Are you, are you ready to do the work that needs to be done? You know, there are certain qualities that if you don't have, you need to work with. Are you compassionate? Are you a listener? So you, you need to look at all these things about you, the individual yourself, what positivity do you espouse to be able to surround yourself with these positive people and in a sense to help with increasing your self-worth. And remember, self-worth is tied to self-esteem, which we will talk about later. So thank you for the birthday wishes. This is your girl, Nana Yayabua. If you haven't liked, subscribed, please like, subscribe to my channel. And every new video that I upload, you will get the alert. And also share this positive message. The world is too much full of ill. We need great messages. We need compassionate people to help this world stand on its legs. Thank you.